look, it's a lot of years of sacrifice, you know, a lot of years of of working and putting in all this work and, and not getting, you know, the rewards that you would, you know, that we that we work so hard for, you know. And uh it's very hard, you know, to like accept that at this age, at the age of 42 years old, it's like I'm starting now to see the fruits of all these years of sacrifice, all these years of labor finally coming to fruition, you know. So it's it's just it's an unbelievable feeling. First two division champ. Uh, undefeated. What what is next? Do you have two belts to defend? Is there someone that you have on your radar in or out of the BKFC? Yes. So I, I've called out several names in uh, in BKFC and crickets, man. I called out Chad Mendes in two consecutive fights when they signed them, and nothing. You know, I don't hear nothing. I'm, I'm looking for the the big money fights. You know, I'm asking for Nate Diaz as right now out of a contract. I know that people are pulling him left and right right now. I don't know if we'll, we'll be able to grab him. But I think Nate Diaz, you know, Chad Mendes, anything that's going to be me on, give me that money fight, you know, Master Dow, some future, just engage in some future would be great. But right now, right now, my biggest one that I have in mind, and I think that it makes perfect sense, would be Mayweather. And I'm not saying that, you know, I'm not saying take off the gloves. I know that he's not going to do that, you know, but he's the pound for pound, the GOAT of glove boxing. And where did boxing start from? Bare knuckle boxing. I'm the pound for pound, and I'm the GOAT, undefeated double and only two-way division champion in the world. So I think that it makes a lot of sense where the same weight class, he's fighting these dudes that are not even a challenge to him. You know what I mean? If we can do an exhibition, this has to be a real final. He's retired already. But I think it's, if you think about it right, he's the goat of glove boxing. It originates from bare knuckle boxing. Now bare knuckle boxing has done full circle. Now bare knuckle boxing is up on top where, you know, it's, it's, it's one of the most watched you know, combat sports in the world is growing faster than UFC ever did. You know what I mean? So I think that putting these two together, I think it makes a lot of sense, you know? And you would go over to his world. You're not asking I that. would go to his world. A thousand percent. I put the gloves on and I would represent bare knuckle boxing with the gloves on, but I'm representing the dark side. I like to call it the dark side, you know? Take the gloves off and come to the dark side. No, he won't, but I come to his side. What would your message be if Floyd's going to see this? What would you say to, to Money Mayweather? Well, Money Mayweather, man, look, I respect everything you've done. There is, there, I, don't, I don't believe in, in disrespecting people just to build up a fight. We can do that. We can build up the fight without having to disrespect each other. I'm very much about honor. I, I have like a, a spirit of a samurai. I'm all about honor and respect. But, you know, how, how long can you fight the type of fights that he just did? The last one that he just did, he's talking and, like, you know, he's, he's having fun in there. But there's no type of competition. I know that being the champion that he is, he still needs that competition. You know what I mean? Even though it's going to be an exhibition, you know, he still needs that, that that competition drive, right? And I think I bring all of that. And we're bringing history together, man. You know, boxing started and originated with bare knuckle boxing. You know, so I think it's something that he's never done before. So I would think that he would be interested in this because I am a very worthy opponent. I think I deserve a shot against that GOAT. And I can represent, you know, the dark side, I like to call it, the bare knuckle boxing. And, you know, it's, it's something that he's never done. So I think that it would work. A couple other names that you mentioned. We talked to David Feldman not long ago, and he, and this was even before Nate Diaz was completely out of his contract. Now he is. That does sound like a very interesting fight as well. And he seems perfect for BKFC. He will fit right in, man. Nate Diaz will fit right in because Nate Diaz, he, as much as you want to say that he's an MMA fighter, or, or, or a boxer, when he puts the gloves on, his boxer with pro boxers, he's a fighter. He's a fighter. He comes to fight. He doesn't even care about winning and losing in, in MMA fights. He cares about the fight itself. He's a gangster. You know? So, yeah, California against Miami, man. Let's do it. And you mentioned Justin Gaethje, and I know you've shared the cage with him a couple of times. He seems like he's built for this sport, right? He's built for bare knuckle. Yes, a thousand percent. Man, the guy's very decorated wrestler. Doesn't even like to wrestle. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's in his blood. The man wants to, you know, get in there and just let go of the hands. You know, we we saw each other twice. Um, I got really close to, to beating him in the first fight. The second fight was actually closer. He caught me, you know, but this is bare knuckle where I don't have no worries about no takedowns. There is nothing in the back of my head. Okay, if I do this or if I do that, he might take me down. I don't have to worry about it. So I think that uh the trilogy would be very interesting in bare knuckle. It would be a show for the ages.